What's up YouTube? We are back with another product that I love and if you're like me, you like to keep your parameters pretty closely in check and you're regularly changing your water, testing your parameters and you come across testing your salinity and you're like, how am I going to do this? Well, you can get this guy which is called a refractometer. It's pretty cheap. You can get these anywhere from like $12 to I don't know, $100, probably more, probably less. I mean, they're all kind of the same. They're pretty simple. You put it up there, you look at it, you put the drops on here and you can tell your salinity. I like this option. I have one. I recommend it. I will put a link in the description for it, uh, which one I bought. It's definitely a good tool to have. I personally will always have one of these no matter what. But I will say when testing my salinity, sometimes I just don't have time to really test the salinity. I want to be quick about it. I don't want to have to pull drops of water, put the drops on there, figure it all out. So I have one of those, but my more favorite option or my personal favorite would be the Hanna salinity tester. This guy is in, I believe it's like 75 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for that. This guy is pretty sweet. Um, you just slide this off pop it open and this is what it looks like. There will be a package in here to dip the salinity meter in to calibrate it. Super simple, you can calibrate it in a couple minutes and then you just, you know, when you pop this off, you'll dip it in the solution, you'll click the on button and it will begin to calibrate and it will set exactly what you need it to be. So when you pop this on, you can then take it, drop it in the tank and then it will slowly dial exactly to what it needs to be, which is pretty awesome. I will say when doing this, I've come to find out that this meter is about 0.2 below what it actually is of the salinity. And so that's why it's pretty nice to have the other refractometer before you just go ahead and buy the Hanna salinity tester because the refractometer is a little more accurate. But once you figure out the difference between the refractometer and the Hanna salinity tester, you really just know, okay, my salinity tester is 0.2 below what it's supposed to be so or what it's actually testing out at so when my tank is 1.25 it shows up as 1.23 on the salinity meter so you know 1.023 1.025 i mean it's pretty close i would say just know the difference in the salinity meters and the refractometer make sure you remember that and you should be good to go the other cool thing about this is below it says the temperature so when you're dropping it in here and the temperature probe is pretty accurate, so it'll basically give you a good read. I tend to just dip it in there and I just let it sit for a while. And then it will finally, once it finishes going up or down, that's how you know where it's at and where to stop. So once you're done, you can take this guy. I rinse it with RODI water just so it's nice and good. There's no leftovers on it. And then I clean it with a nice microfiber and then I just put the cap back on and throw it back in there. So. Quick way to test your salinity if you're regularly testing your parameters. Um, like I said, there is a small difference in testing but with this guy, but once you figure that out, then you just know for the future and this is a quick unit to use. I'd love it if it was dead accurate, but with these test devices being cheap hobbyer kits, it's hard to find something that's like pretty accurate and also you know affordable and not a lab grade equipment. So, yeah, this is the Hanna Salinity Tester and I love it and I'll put a link in the description and if there's anything else you'd like me to test, show, or make a video about, throw it in the comments and thanks for watching guys. Follow me at Chief.Reef on Instagram and have a great day.